Hi, I'm Doug Rosenberg, and I'm here with Brian Moberly. The two of us are writing a book called Pain-Free MBSE, and in that book, we describe a uh, design for a lunar lander. And Brian, being the best guy I know with parametrics, has built a lunar lander simulator, which is kind of like a lunar lander game. And we're going to make this model available as a free download. Um, and so you can basically, if you download it, you can sit there and learn about parametrics and watch the, um, you know, basically play, play Lunar Lander. So Brian, I'm going to kick it over to you. You have the simulation started and uh, let's go land on the moon. All right. Thanks, Doug. As Doug mentioned, I'm Brian Moberly, and this is a model of a lunar lander module that has a lot of the same features as the Apollo 11 module with very, very close attributes such as the mass and the amount of specific impulse that the rockets have. So we modeled a lot of the physics involved and the actual characteristics of the Apollo 11 lunar module. So what I'll do is go ahead and press the play button and you will see that we're starting out at a thousand meters in this case. And then the, the user has the option to adjust the thrust down here. And when they do that, you will see that there starts being fuel consumed and that fuel is actually coming off of the total mass of the lunar module as well. And that affects the flight characteristics. So. A lot of things are happening in the background, in the parametrics, and in the activity diagrams that are performing the mathematical integrations. But that is what's happening here. So I can adjust this fuel using our thrust adjuster knob down here. And I'll go ahead and go full throttle at the moment, which is about 45,000 Newtons. Uh, I think the actual Apollo 11 was about 45,500 Newtons, possibly. So we could adjust that if we'd like. And as you see, I may have started putting in the thrust a little bit too late here. And when we do that, you'll notice that this will not go so well at the very end. So if you notice, we are now sitting in a crater. And we have the message that we have made another crater on the moon. So, Doug, would you like to name this crater? Um, gee, now you're putting me on the spot. Uh, <laughs> let's call it PFM1. All right. All right. Pain-free parametrics or pain-free MBSC1. There it is. Uh, there's also this feature that we've put into here in case you'd like to see if it's even possible to land successfully and maybe you haven't done that in all of your attempts. And what you can do is use the auto land. So the auto land part of this actually runs a PI control loop or a proportional integral control loop. And you can send this sysml signal here to turn that loop on and then it'll start adjusting that thrust automatically as it gets closer and closer to the surface. And notice now I'm not doing anything, but it's adjusting that thrust very, very precisely to where it, it has it exactly where it thinks it should be based on that altitude and that vertical speed and how far it is away from the surface of the moon. So there are other parametrics that come into play for that. And then there's an entire activity that goes through a series of opaque actions to perform that PI control loop. And that's using Python and all of those opaque actions. So what we can do now is just sit back and watch it do its thing and see if it actually does land successfully. And well, this is let me interrupt for a second, Brian. What what I want to tell anyone who's watching this is that the full design of this simulation is going to be presented in the Pain Free MBS ebook. In fact, there's three chapters on parametrics. Um, they go through basic parametrics, advanced parametrics, and then one chapter specifically on this simulation. That's and right. I think there's going to be an appendix that also goes through and describes the PI control loop. So, um, yes. so this looks like it's doing better on auto lander. You're down to under five meters per second. 
But yep. And, yes, it's, uh, it's doing a lot better now that it's adjusting its thrust automatically and it's almost to the ground. So, and so, yeah, it just landed. It just landed successfully at less than one G and the Eagle has landed. So there you have it. It is possible to land successfully with this. And I think it's a, a great example of how you can do things manually, but then also how you can implement things that'll do things in more of an automated fashion with options such as an auto lander. But all of this is is done using the, uh, what you're seeing here is called a user interface modeling diagram in Cameo Systems Modeler. And it's very easy to put together a graphical user interface like this. And you can tie in all of the parts of your model, all of the different attributes and value properties so yeah that's basically a quick recap of what we've done here and a lot of the math behind this as doug mentioned will be in the book so we look forward to having any of you out there who are interested to check out the book yeah we we have a, a linkedin page called pain-free mbfc and when we have the model available for download we will post its download location on that page. So again, on LinkedIn, go find our pain-free MBSC page. You can learn about the book and you'll be able to download this Cameo model from there. Thanks, Brian, for uh, letting me rope you into recording this demo. Awesome. Yeah, thank you as well, Doug. All right, bye.